Hi. Now, in this question, we're asked to find the equation of the normal to the curve y equals 6 divided by x squared minus 5 at the point on the curve where x equals 2. And we've got to give our answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b and c are integers. OK, so if you haven't done this question already and want to give it a go, just give you a moment to pause. You can fast forward when you come back to the end just to check the answer. Or if you want to see the work solution, I'll provide it for you. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all, not that you have to do this, but uh, I always like to draw some kind of sketch for problems like this, just so I can get some feel for this. So draw my axes here. And sometimes I don't know what the graph looks like, but uh, I would draw normally a squiggly line, for instance. But for this one, it's going to look something like this. It's a curve that tends towards the y-axis, not that I've drawn a particularly good one there. And as x gets larger, it tends towards minus 5, because this term goes to 0, and so y would equal minus 5. And what I'm going to do is find out the corresponding y-coordinate for when x equals 2, so I can locate it on this graph, OK? So that's, first of all, what I'm going to need to do. And so we're going to say that when x equals 2, what does y equal? Well, y will equal 6 divided by 2 squared minus 5. So we've got 6 divided by 4 minus 5. That gives us minus 7 over 2. So y is going to equal minus 7 over 2. So I can see that that point on the curve here must be, say, let's say there, OK? 2 across and then minus 7 over halves down, minus three and a half units down. So I'm looking for the equation then of this normal through this point here. So if I just draw, draw that line in, something like that, we've got that. And to get that equation, I'm going to use the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, a form that we should be familiar with. It's much better to use this, I feel, than y equals mx plus c, because we've got to just stop off and find out what the c value is. In this version, x1 is going to be 2, y1 is minus 7 over 2. We just need to get the gradient m of this line. And to do that, we work out the gradient of the tangent at this point here, where x equals 2. And we do that by differentiating the equation of our curve. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take our curve, so we've got y equals 6 over x squared minus 5. And to differentiate this, I'm going to rearrange this term. That's 6 times 1 over x squared, which is 6 times x to the power minus 2 and then we've got the constant minus 5. So therefore, I can differentiate this with respect to x. So we've got dy by dx equals, and in the usual way, if I differentiate this term, we've got minus 2 times 6, which is minus 12. Reduce the power by 1, and you've got x to the power minus 3. And if we differentiate a constant, well, that's 0. So if I just tidy this up, we've got minus 12 multiplied by x to the minus 3, which is 1 over x cubed, and minus 12 times 1 over x cubed just gives us minus 12 over x cubed. OK, so we now need to get that gradient when x equals 2. So when x equals 2, we see that dy by dx equals well, minus 12 over 2 cubed. What does that come out at? Minus 12 over 8 is, in fact, minus 3 over 2. And we can check that that gradient is negative. Look, you can see here it's going to be a negative gradient. So things are looking pretty good. Now, all I need to do now is get the gradient of the normal. So we can see that because the product of gradient should equal minus 1, we therefore got the gradient of the normal. I'll just put grad of normal 
okay, for short. Well, all we do is switch the sign here and invert our fraction so you're going to get plus two thirds so that you can see the product of these two gradients is negative one, the perpendicular gradient rule. So now I've got all the bits I need to get the equation of that normal. So we can say therefore equation of normal all right, let's put that in. Equation of normal will say is, and it's going to be y minus y1. y1, the y coordinate, is minus 7 over 2. And this equals the gradient m, which we've seen is 2 thirds, multiplied by x minus x1. x1 is the x coordinate there, 2. Okay, so what I could do at this stage, because I've got to get it in this format, I need integers, A, B and C are integers, so I'll multiply through by 6, because the 2 and the 3 goes into 6. So if I multiply throughout by 6, I'll have 6y here. Now, this is plus 7 over 2, and if I multiply by 6, 2 will go into 6 three times, and 3 sevens are 21, so we've got plus 21. OK, equals, and if I times the 2 thirds by 6, remember this is all one term, so I only need to times the front here by 6. So 2 thirds of 6, 3 goes into 6 twice, 2 twos are 4, so 2 thirds of 6 is 4. 4 multiplied by x minus 2. Now I can expand the bracket, we therefore have 6y plus 21 equals 4x minus 8. And I want my first term, my x term, really to be positive. So I'm going to subtract 6y and subtract 21 from both sides. So we've got 4x. OK. Then I'm going to subtract 6y. So that's minus 6y. And I'm going to subtract 21 from the minus 8. So that's going to be minus 29. And that equals 0. And there's my form, OK? I'm in the right form, AX plus BY plus C equals 0. If I was asked what A, B and C were, A would be 4, B would be minus 6, and C would be minus 29. OK, so hope you got that, and there we go.